we doing, Lucy? Six, seven. Eight, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty-two, twenty-four, twenty-six, twenty-eight, thirty, thirty-two, thirty-four. Hi, how are you, sir? Good. Thirty-six, thirty-eight. Forty. Forty-two. Morning. How you doing today? Okay. Good. Thanks for coming. August 19th, the fire took place on Sunday. We got a phone call uh, that night from my son, uh, Eric, who was here keeping an eye on things for me. And, he, you know, he says, Dad, you got to come back. The, the place caught on fire and there's not much left. And when we got off the, got out of the car here, all my employees were sitting on the curb on Highland, the street next to us. They were all sitting on the curb. They didn't know, obviously they weren't working, but they were all there. And the moment I got out of the car, I started walking towards them. I realized the first mission I had to do was to pick them up and help them understand that we were gonna survive. So the challenge to rebuild was a challenge we took and we started right away to see that the place had the ability to be more than just a laundromat. of our country yesterday in terms of trade and probably other things too if you think about it the deal with china and that was the second story to a total hoax the president of the united states who's led the greatest growth the greatest the greatest economic revival of any country anywhere in the world is the united states as big as it is we're doing better than any other country by far our unemployment numbers are the best they've been in over 50 years african-american Asian American, Hispanic American, unemployment, the best in the history of our country. And I've got to go through a hoax, a phony hoax, put out the, by the Democrats so they can try and win an election that hopefully they're not going to win. It was put out. Of what this, the administration is doing is impacting everybody in the Chicago area. Sure. Right. If you have a problem with your green card, you're much more nervous these days. And the dilemma we face is that the neighborhood to the east of us has been hit by some ice raids. And the number of people in that community has, has dropped significantly. And most of the people who were in the community that have left were laundromat customers. So the question becomes, what are the avenues we can use to lure people into this store. Okay. The solution isn't easy for us. If they were there, like before, we'd say, well, we lost them, we got to get them back. That would be one thing. Mm -hmm. But now, they're not, it's, they're, they're not there. And if they've got possibility to go back and a job wait for them in Mexico, a lot of them are going to say it's safer down there. Well, we have a couple of employees, totally legit, who are concerned about just going down to Mexico for a family wedding or something, mm -hmm. because they don't know how hard it'll be getting back into the country. Right. Yeah, if nobody's here to take care of your kids and you are deported. I never leave my kids. But the thing is, the government it doesn't gonna give you the kids. They want to keep no, the kids here. Papa, Olivia, your kids are here with me. 
You know what? If I have to go, well, fine, I'll go, but I'm taking my kids, you know, or leave before the worst happens, you know. Pues no. Uh -huh. Pero yo pienso que, que tú, Yoli, tú, Yoli, tú eres bien diferente a cada una de nosotros. No, pues es que todas somos diferentes. No, en la manera de que tú naciste aquí, ¿verdad? En eso es la diferencia. Nosotros venimos por un sueño. Pues, uh -huh. bueno. En, es, en eso sí, estamos. Hola. Good evening and welcome to the world's largest laundromat. Just want to let you know that our first delivery of pizza, sausage pizza as well as cheese pizza, it has been made and uh, we're about to start serving. You can help me with the plates, sure. Okay, get on that side. And because it's. Hi, how are you today? Just your granddaughter? My what? Your granddaughter? Yes. My granddaughter. Okay. Here you go, sir. Thank you. You're welcome. Hey, Chief, how are I you today? Little, I am a little hungry. A little hungry, do you know? Yes, this is fine. Okay. I come. Hello, how are you? Okay. Hey. It's cold. It's cold? It's cold? Yes, it's cold. Oh, yeah. Before here, and it's always been a, a drinking situation. I, I didn't smell any alcohol there this time. Is she trying to lay down? Or are you going to just let her go? Maybe I'll just let her lower her down. Yeah, they're yeah, you're giving up on the chair. Yeah. That's the radio call. Yeah. We end up with about four vehicles back there from the police and the fire department and a couple of ambulances. See, look, it's like she's hallucinating or something. Too much of one medication, not enough Maybe. of the other. Yeah, she might, I mean, might have over medicated herself. Or under. Or under. <laughs> she skipped it today.
today? Hello. How are you doing? Good. Feeling better? Right? Yeah. Did you, did you got with you that the ticket? Can you give me the last five numbers? Two two nine seven. Oh, okay. She's having fun. Yeah. Which is good. Grandpa pay the days when you work? What? He pay grandpa? Ten dollars an hour. Ten dollars an hour? Oila? Ten dollars per hour. And how many hours you work? I usually only work one hour. No, Sunday you work a lot of hours with me. Remember? If I look at, I chart my projections versus the reality. Okay. The blue line is what I planned. The orange line is what actually happened. Okay, so we're a little low. But then the spring was really good to us. Yeah. Basically, payroll, I am. Um, Minimum wage law, the next impact is July 1st. And what, will that make us, what, 13 and a half an hour? Uh, is that what we're be? 12. 12? I think. I think 12? Oh, I have to double check that. Okay. All right. um, I am projecting a 5% increase. Okay. Which is what I did last year, which should cover raises in yeah. minimum wage. It doesn't cover upstaffing. Yeah. So well, if you want to upstaff, it would be a good time to tell me now if you can. I don't, I don't know <laughs> where we would upstaff at I this point. I, I, I think we're more. overstaffed as it is. We're overstaffed yeah. as it is, and my target for this year is going quarterly is to decrease the overtime hours by quarter. Hola, amigo. Buenos días. Ah. Bien, 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 bien. Trabajar, trabajar aquí. Amigo. Ajá. 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 Está bien, ¿eh? Sí, mucho dinero, la dueño. Yo, pobrecito. Sí. Dice que le pagan a 10 la hora. No sé, el, el, el otro día que me habló que venir y que fuimos a buscar, le dijo, págame primero. <risa> y le dijo, no, dijo, primero voy a almorzar. <risa> This place, it was demographically a perfect spot because it was a working class neighborhood. One of my advantages here is my parents were blue collar, just like most of these folks that are coming to the laundromat. They're blue collar. I totally understand when they are, are dealing with a, maybe I raise prices and the machine is up 25 cents from before. Um, I understand that creates something for them. It, it isn't easy. Because these, you know, in a way, they, they're sort of like what my parents would have gone through, except my mom and dad had a washer and dryer in the basement. But we never went to a laundromat. They was hello in Spanish or in English? English. In English. Okay, I'm going to do it in English. All right, I have hair. Mm-hmm. Hair. And let's see. Do I have, look, I almost have a row already. A banana. Mm-hmm. In English, it's banana. Oh, ah, look, I did it. I have a orange. Give me five. And a Come play, Genevieve. Do you want to play this one? You played this last week and you liked it. You ready? Say open. Say open. Open your eyes. 
Open. Snowball. Snowball. <laughs> Big and round. Under which color can you be found? Oh, tenemos que escoger un color. We have to choose a color. El verde? Okay. Uno, dos, tres. Oh, bien hecho. Bravo. Bravo por Victoria. So, good morning. Good morning, Mr. President. How are we doing again good today? Good. Huh? Good. Our six, every six month meeting that we do this. Oh, yeah. Thank I just you. want to dismiss, turn this off. So, oh, there we go. Good. What are your options? This, or you, you want to look at the report oh, card? Yeah, Why yeah. don't we do we, that? We brought this in. Um, you know, a uh, young man continues. So, the, <laughs> the first page is his report card, the second Great. page is his second semester's uh, class list. Um, well, you know, we're very proud of his accomplishments. Yeah. Um, you know, we want to make sure that he has fun in school. Yeah. Uh, and he's not overweight by no, no, don't, grades. Don't do that. Uh, but we yeah. also want him to do very well uh, yeah. as well, because that's going to position him for, right, for, for, for the future. Right, for the goals. Looking at this, you've got seven A's and one B. So can I ask what happened to the B? <laughs> Sometimes English is a lot harder, <laughs> harder than harder than to <laughs> understand. You know, in regards yeah. to the money, you know, we'll be renewing you for 1500 Now, when we look at the fall semester, you know, we may be able to move you back to 2000 where okay. you were once upon a time. Uh, so uh, we will uh, look at that. But for now, we're, you know, uh, everything seems to be going well. And uh, so anyway, let me take care of giving you the check. Okay. By the way, the yeah. last thing I want to mention also is, I mean, you walking into your, your business sure. here, uh, world's largest yeah. uh, laundromat, right? And, and seeing uh, the way you give back to the community. Most business people look at the bottom line. You're looking at it from a whole different angle. And I think you having this program and helping these kids out sets out the foundation of support for their future. And it means a lot to me that you you give me that support so that I can have a better future. Well, as a business person, it isn't you know a charity in my mind. It's an investment. And it's an investment in young people who I think can really make a difference for this country, in this community. Let me finish this check. Okay. I'll put this back in here. Give it to you. Okay. I got a file on Roy, so we're good. <laughs> Thank okay. you so much. It's hard play. You're, you're uh, uh, very kind. All right, thanks. Bye-bye. I was five years old, and I wanted to be a Catholic priest. But I left the seminary after eight years. You know, one of the things that the, the seminary was big on was to be a participant in the community. And that's one of the things that we really do. We try to participate in the community. That's a value that I think comes from the seminary. I think the, the, the value about values of altruism and you know, making sure people get a fair shake for what they get. I mean, you know, if but there is not a thing I do that I don't think in some way makes money, okay? Whether we're giving away donuts and coffee in the morning, we started giving away pizzas on, on Wednesday night and we hired uh, entertainers for the children. So it turned into a party. 
And the result was Wednesday, which used to be our slowest night of the week, which was like 20 to 30 people, if you walked here, all of a sudden we're getting 150 to 200 people. It is all about money. And, and that's truly it. But you can also do wonderful things without, uh, uh, with, without uh, spoiling uh, your desire to make money. Su nombre y apellido. Nombre y apellido. Good luck. Two more minutes for the raffle. We're giving away three $50 bills. So the first winner, so the first winner is Carlos Escontres, is the last name, I believe. No, I have like that. So the last. Okay. Let me see your number. Four, four, one. Four, four, one. Great. Congratulations. Four, two, six. Great. Congratulations. Thank you so much. Okay. There you go. Okay. Thank you. Thank you. Hey. Thank you all for playing. Sorry, everybody's not a winner. Uh, but maybe next time. Uh, and again, most importantly, thank you for coming to the world's largest walk today. has to do is declare the coronavirus an emergency. The source of the infection is still unknown. The harmfulness of the coronavirus has been of different ages is now changing. And there are other indications the virus is becoming increasingly contagious. Pero entonces sí fue al doctor. Sí, sí fui ayer. Porque es que le digo que me levanté sin nada. ¿Y ya no le hicieron el examen? Yo lo tengo. A mí el doctor me dijo, me dijo, ellos, si tú puedes, ellos nada más te pueden dar cuatro días a trabajar porque tú estás enferma. Ajá. Ay, Pero no, yo le dije a él que ahorita no puedo. Oh, no. Voy a ver cómo empiezo a pagar los biles del doctor, porque tan llegue y llegue. La verdad, yo no tengo dinero. Y no hay soluciones. Pues dice que eso es con tiempo, esperar. Ay, siempre va a estar como padeciendo, yo creo, uh -huh. de algo así. Dice que sí. Sí, él me, él me dijo que sí, hace pues, sí. cambios de clima y eso me van a afectar. Ay, es como que usted ya debería cambiarse entonces a un lugar más bueno, ¿verdad? ¿no? ¿O qué? Pues sí, pero pues, ¿a dónde diga? Nací en la Ciudad de México y mi niñez fue feliz, muy feliz. Mi sueño siempre fue ser una... Las que ayudan en los aviones para viajar mucho. Era uno de mis sueños. La primera persona que se vino aquí fue mi hermano, el más grande. 
y él decidió que ya era tiempo de nosotros venir aquí. Viajamos de la Ciudad de México al estado de Tijuana. Esperamos ahí a alguien que, que era la persona que nos iba a cruzar. Cruzamos de noche un río, pero en realidad no sé qué río era. Como iba nerviosa, cansada, yo creí que estaba agarrada de una, de una, de una fensa. Y la verdad que yo creo que mis brazos no tenían fuerza y solté y caí. O sea, eran de los nervios que yo creo que nosotros teníamos el miedo de, no sé, de que nos fueran a agarrar. O, la verdad, no, no, no sé. Ah, okay. es más horrible, ¿no? Ah, ok. <risa> Lo de B. Pues no ve que ese día como Ay, ay no, a mí me harta, prefiero doblar. La vez, ¿no? Desde ayer de 300 y algo era todo doblado. ¿Doblado? Uh -huh. Pero bien rápido, yo sí. bien rápido, un carro entero. Uh -huh. Es rápido. I was wondering, do I need to mark this or no? I'm not. Did you leave going here? You have paper? Did you have paper? Oh, no, you no. Have I, I've been born and raised here. Oh, okay, Pujes. Yeah, because, you know, I didn't know what it meant because it's a yellow. No, because they want this. You know. Oh, they want to make sure if yeah, uh, you have, I'm you have, in the mm -hmm. country if I got documents. Mm -hmm. Yeah, well, I've been raised and born here. <laughs> okay, thank you. You're welcome. Write it down for me. What's up? Can you write it down for me? Okay. Thank you. You can't see this if you can Okay. Okay, wait for my boss call you, okay? Okay, thank you. You're welcome. So um, how do they know this is theirs because it's in the front? Or? So this is the ticket for the order. Mm -hmm. This ticket has two bags. Mm -hmm. This is another order, that's another order. Okay. On the end of the ticket, you will see if they want hang to dry or just the pants hanging and mm -hmm. stuff like that. Mm -hmm. That's where you'll see the ticket. Okay. Do you have any more questions for me? That's it. I will let them know that you are here and then they'll call you. Okay, thank you. Thank you. Yes, Bernie. Where's my? No, we're, it, oh. we're, we're done with this. Oh my God! Look at all the toys. <laughs> yeah, we got some sports fans. Though. My dad's got a big thing for like bobbleheads. Dad, is that your dad? The short one? Right here. Yeah, that's him. Yep, that's him. <laughs> <laughs> you can get those custom made. <laughs> good eye. Um, how are you today? I'm good. Thank good. you. So Anna kind of walked you around mm -hmm. and showed you what the store is about. Are you a customer here? Yeah. Yes. And yeah. I'm a just, uh, I just love coming here to hang out. Oh, well, thank you. Um, all right, so it's an overnight position. So you're on your feet for eight hours a day. Mm -hmm. No problems there. Mm -hmm. um, it's hard work. Um, yeah. You're probably doing some lifting in the warehouse. Or yeah, already. yeah. So the only, the only probably big difference here is making sure it's like in order. Because, mm -hmm. like, with the warehouse, everything is already set. You know, you just move, push, pull. Right, right. But here you have to make sure you... Yeah, make sure you're, you know what you're dealing exactly. with. Exactly. <laughs> but it's, it's a definitely a workout for your upper body. I mean, you're going to feel it. Yeah. Here, you do that for six, seven, eight hours. You're going to go make like, sure ah. you see my masseuse. <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> do it. Right. Um, all right. Prefer full-time? Yes. Okay. 
I'm Enjoy the, them I'm the worker them. bee. I'm the busy one. Okay. <laughs> I'm, the, I'm the giddy one. Well, there are always chances to pick up extra shifts. Right. People always get sick. People always go on vacation. Mm -hmm. There's... If you're the one who's like, hey, me, right. you know. I am the hey, me. Mark does the scheduling. And oh. if he learns that, you know, hey, you're the one who, like, volunteers really quick, yeah. he'll just start calling you. That's the that's He'll just me. say, well, the first person I'm going to call is, you know. Um, if we hired you, how long do you think you'd stay? I would say as long as you keep me. Okay. <laughs> Good answer. I'll stay as long as you would keep me. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Um, let me tell you about a few things. Um, so we're starting at $13 an hour. Oh, really? Nice. On the overnight shift, we do what's called a shift differential. Any hours you work between 10 p.m. and 6 a.m., which is probably going to be most of your schedule, yeah. uh, it's an extra 50 cents. Oh, nice. To okay. kind of encourage people to work on nights because sometimes it's tough. I mean... Okay. So we have benefits. After three months, you're eligible. And what that is, we don't have major medical insurance, unfortunately. Okay. Uh, we do have dental and vision. Good. At yes. pretty good rates yeah, that's that we can I help you get in on. Um, we have a life insurance policy. Really? We automatically, at the store's cost, no cost to you, take out a $10,000 life insurance policy. Well, we don't take it out. We give it to you. What does that mean? It means that you've got a $10,000 life insurance policy. You name the benefactors of it. But if anything happened to you, then that's ten thousand dollars to oh. your children, your spouse, your parents, whatever. Okay. okay. Oh, um, nice. It's small that's in terms of life insurance. You only take it out if it's needed, though, right? Yeah. Yeah. It's okay. it's only if you die. That's the one. That's my job. Make you work here. <laughs> yeah. Hey. Right there. So I'm gonna look out the window, see who there. Uh, I ain't going today. <laughs> huh? But you know I ain't going to no alleys. Get you a taser. I got a taser. Get you a three fifty seven. We all good. I just want to drop it. These just shoes. It's not big enough to do nothing. I hope the couch is going to get in here. That's going to be kind of tight. They'll figure it out. If they don't, they're going to have to take it back to the alley. Honestly, I, I had the strangest dream. I just wanted to be a housewife. I never wanted to, to work. I never wanted to do any of that. I wanted to be a wife. I wanted to take care of the house and take care of the kids. My childhood yeah, made things a little different. <laughs> it means you have to get a job, so we started work early. My mom was a single mom, so we had to help mom. I think that Everybody's idea of the American dream is different because we don't want the same things. Nobody does. Again, all my friends wanted to be doctors and lawyers and nurses, and I was saying, I just want to be a, a housewife. I, I was happy with the notion of just staying at home with the white picket fence, and I wanted a cat and a dog and a fish. Not having money does make things difficult, but being it's America, you there are possibilities. There are, are things you can do to become wealthy, To better your situation. I don't think everybody was meant to be wealthy. I just don't believe that we were all meant to be the same.
Tirar aqui, não? Porque aquela Lulu. Já. Como vai a roupa, senhora? Sí, como quer a roupa? Você? Não, não lhe cobram. É impossível, é como os muchachos compram. Ah. Ah, sí, es que los muchachos no compran y compran, yo creo, ya. Pero, yo no entiendo la verdad. Si mamá mamá viniera, diría, pátalos a la fregada de aquí. Espérese, ya. ¿Pesó los dos? Sí. Esta es la última. Porque aquella ya la pesé. Sí, esta ya está. Yo siempre trabajaba cuando estaba en la escuela en México. Yo trabajé toda mi vida en sí, desde que estábamos pequeñas, como a unos 12 años en el monte, en México. Empecé a trabajar, estudiar y a trabajar hasta quinto año. So, aquí en los Estados Unidos siempre he trabajado. Quería como una carrera de, sería como un abogado, pero es, es un sueño muy que no se puede alcanzar. Want to be a lawyer. Yo sabía que eso no va a poder ser, porque si no podía ir a la escuela de, para pequeña, ahora de grande, no se podía tampoco. So, esta es nomás en mis sueños. No iba a pasar. No. Drop off growth. 35%. Holy cow. That's huge. That is huge. Um, but that explains some of the issues. Well, yeah. And that's 35%, and it's not like we've added 35% more people. It, it, you know, we obviously have more than we really were, <coughs> were built for. In the past six months, we've gone from five or six thousand pounds in a week to seven or eight thousand pounds in a week that's that's a big boost i don't need to tell you guys because you're living it out there so far so that's 12 errors for january february march for april and just a few days of may we already have nine so we're on track to hit about 27 if you figure that so we really got to figure that out you're rushing, and I understand why, but we need to rush carefully. Okay. Um, well, that leads us to our bonuses. Depending on how many shifts you supervise, you're getting 32 bucks. It could have been 48 bucks. So I'll let you do the math in your head. 16 bucks times however many shifts you run, that's what you could have had. Always trying to do better. Sonia, okay. Anna, Annabelle, yeah. Francisco, okay. go buy yourselves dinner tonight. No, yo ya también, la verdad, me estoy hartando. Consistima, maldita barra, no aprecia, cada domingo. no aprecia. Ay, no sé por qué no le dice que mejor nos corra el tiempo, ya si usted sabe, pues, hey, pues nos sí. vamos a compensar un tiempo. Es, sí, es la, la verdad. verdad. Él no está feliz con nosotros porque no está feliz. No, pues Siempre no está. hay algo que uno hace mal. Nunca estamos bien, nunca. trece años aquí trabajando. Pues sí es difícil cuando uno carga tantas bolsas, pero a mí sí, sí me gustaría retirarme de aquí. Me gusta, me, me gusta mi trabajo. Cuando yo agarré el COVID fue, no sé si con la ropa, no sé, pero de que fue aquí, yo pienso que sí o no sé si un cliente vino enfermo y no se dio cuenta. No sé, yo pienso que fue aquí. 
mis pulmones están, están dañados y a veces tengo que usar una máquina cuando mi cuerpo está muy, muy cansado. Tengo que usar una máquina de oxígeno para restablecer un poco mis pulmones. Sí me afectó a mí, pero pues tengo que trabajar. Está bien sucia ir a este cuello. Mira, no, pues es que le voy a echar una de. Le voy a echar de aquel, a veces se lo quita. O póngalo aquí arriba. Sí, le voy a echar de aquel. Porque no hay chavo. Eso va a quedar. Cojo lo puerté para echar de todo porque están bien sucias. Pues, yo le voy a preguntar a la abogada al fondo. Que como después de. Mire, pero entonces ahorita no puede ir usted a corte. No. O sea, todavía no. No. Están por el Zoom. Uh -huh. Pero no importa, entonces, si ya por el Zoom ya me ven Pero es mejor, ¿no? Sí, así no no lo mire. No lo ve, ajá. Ve que asquerosidad. Todo sí. lo que tengo ahí de los recibos, no veo tanto así medio. Sí. Así, mire. Para que vea. Eso ahí es demasiado dinero. No, pues es que sí. Ella se llevó la mitad de lo que él me dio. Ay, qué feo, okay. ¿no? Ajá, sí. entonces. Nosotros no, no, no nos interesa a usted saber ni a uno ni a otro. Pues, pues no, no tenemos nada, nada. Ajá, no, no tenemos nada. nada. Aparte lo que hay es de los muchachos, no es mío. Life is good, right? Life is good. Okay. So, uh, three years ago, we developed an award called the Joseph C. Velez Award. Yes, yes. And uh, the reason we came up with that award is because the Board of Commissioners and the North Maroon Park District wanted to create an award to bestow upon a community member that emulates uh, outstanding service, exceptional leadership, visionary guidance, and improving the quality of life in the city of Berwyn. So, we would like to bestow our third year to you. That's extremely nice, thank you. There's a lot of deserving people, but I was thinking about how lucky Berwyn is that it has so many really good people in some really key spots. So that, you know, it, it's a small group that know how to make things happen and whose value system is appropriate. When I first came here in 99, you know, it was a different community, sure. totally. Totally. At the beginning, when we first sense the movement of Hispanic people in particular into the community, you know, we decided every sign in the store had to be English and Spanish. We just, that was the only way to communicate with people. And about three years ago, we asked the same question, basically, do you feel a need for more signs? Do you care whether they're in English and Spanish, that sort of thing? And the, the message came back, we don't need Spanish signs anymore. Oh, really? They came back, that's what they said. We don't need them. And I think that's part of the upward growth that this community prides itself on. Whoever is coming to the country from another country to learn English, not because they're being forced to, just but because it, it's something that will help their families. Our kids are going to be this. Our kids are going to do that. And to leave the signs in Spanish, we were told don't. Yeah, but, you know, so I think that is progress, and, you know, that's a, that's a good thing. That's a really, really good thing. Yeah. So, yeah. good for you. Good for you. Yeah.
So there you go. So how are things going in general? It's about two and a half years you've been here? Yes. OK. Yes. So you should be pretty comfortable with this one. Yeah, pretty much. <laughs> it's a routine. You know where everything's at. Right. I do have one issue, though. OK. My notes, the memos on my tickets, uh -huh. they're back in Spanish. <sighs> okay. <laughs> All right, it's time for that note again. OK. Yeah. I guess I got to learn Spanish. <laughs> Tonight. <laughs> right now. <laughs> well, we've got at least three of you that don't speak Spanish. I'm working on it. I know you are. I'm sure you are. Um, I have been for nine years. OK. And it's not going real well. And if I could have a Saturday off every now and again? This sounds familiar, yes. Yeah, I've said this um, before. Th the best way to do it is just request one off. Uh, yeah, but then it messes with my money. See, if you guys do it and give me a different day it's every now a different and day. again, you know, All like right. on Thursday. I wonder if we could work out some sort of system where. Yeah, like every other week or so, because I do go to church on Sundays, and mm -hmm. sometimes it is really difficult to get off at 6 in the morning oh, sure. to, to try to go to church. But I need to go to church. Sure. It, it helps me. <laughs> oh, I get you. I get you. No, that's, Keeps that's me great. calm. And I would not want to mess with that. Um, occasional. Yes, Jesus. <laughs> you can call me Eric. <laughs> Saturday off for Thelma. <laughs> Mañana no me voy a poder levantar en la mañana. Voy a estar como las viejitas. Sí, Lucy, ya me está, ya me está cansando. Ya me está enfadando. ¿Qué? El calcetinero. Tómalo por el lado amable. Is this the Mora residence? M O R A. Okay. Um... Who am I speaking to? This is Tom from the world's largest laundromat. Okay, do you, do you speak English? Do you have Spanish, rather? Only Spanish. Okay, hold on. Ruth? Spanish only. ¿Usted perdió ropa con nosotros? ¿Qué fue lo que perdió? How much are they worth? Uh huh. Oh, okay. Uh, eh, el dueño quiere saber cuánto es lo que lo que le costaron. Uh, she not remember how, ma how much pay. So you want? Uh, ask, ask her if they're old or new. As eran ya tenían tiempo o eran o eran nuevas recientes. Ask her if fifty bucks is enough. For each one. Total. 50? Yeah, ask her. 50? Yes. Uh, dice que si está bien, uh, 15 por las dos. Yeah, sí. Oh, okay. Bye bye. Gracias. Okay. Good. Thank you. Por favor, espere, el anfitrión le permitirá ingresar pronto. Ahí está. Ahí me quedo. Uh -huh. Sí, para que no se salga. Bebé. Ya están en la corte. Your Honor. Hello. Who's speaking? Well, when were you served? Are you talking about the, the paperwork where the sheriff come, you know, to your door and give you the papers about Correct. the court date and everything? Correct. Yes, I have those. Where do you live, Miss Adams? I live in Madison, Wisconsin. Pues aunque me tengan toda la mañana, ni más. Oh, pues no sí, wonder. ya no voy a ir allá a la escuela. This is out of state service. Mire, pero ya les avisó. No, a la pues es que yo pensé que iba a ser temprano y que iba a terminar rápido, pero no. 
así, siempre quieren así. Pero ¿por qué entonces decidió casarse? Es lo que le digo, como que él me tenía como... O que si él decía eso, era eso. Yo no fui happy cuando me casé. Yo como que no, no es que estaba, estaba muy mente. chica. Porque yo cuando me casé, yo sí tenía 20 años. No, yo, no, yo ya no. Ya 30 y algo. Pero yo no ten, Como que si él decía va a ser así, o sea, ya. Aunque yo no quisiera. Pero, ¿por qué, Pecan Lulu? No entiendo si, si usted ha vivido todo este tiempo en este país. Una mujer es más liberal. Pero yo como que estaba muy cerrada. ¿Sí? Ya, ya me sale.
No, no voy a estar solita, no. Para mí fue muy, muy importante porque yo conocí a una persona y esa persona para mí es todo. O sea, me trata como nunca me trataron en tanto año porque la otra es mi ex, él nunca dejó que yo hiciera nada. Él siempre me tenía como que no valía nada. O sea, mi vida cambió un giro total porque yo puedo... En mi propia persona puedo hacer lo que quiera con mi persona cuando, cuando estaba ahí no lo hacía. O sea, ahora soy como que dice ella, empezando como si fuera otra vez una muchacha que no soy, pero me siento así, como que voy a vivir la vida otra vez igual, como si fuera una, un empezar apenas yo mi vida. Ay, no, que tú le dijo a mi princesa. In love. In love. Ay, no, yo estoy en love. En love, la tu casa. Hat, hat, ¿qué es eso? ¿No quiere fotos de su cuatro? Sí. Voy también. Pues ya le saco a ver. Tal que me, luego me las manda, pero. ¿Sí sabe? Pero lo tiene que agarrar. Déjelo, agarro ese. acá. Pero mira. Párate. No, sentadita, ¿no? ¿O parada? Sí, se mira bien, mano. I gotta go to bed. I gotta go to work tonight. All right, I'll call you when I get out. When okay. I get to. $20. No, I don't have no cash. None. You ain't my niece no more. Oh, did you hear that, Daddy? What up? He signed his niece that no more. That one to him. Oh. That's for you. I ain't his favorite niece no more. <laughs> oh, I'll always be your niece. You can't take that back. <laughs> if this your brother. Five years ago, I moved to Tennessee, and I miss my family. I'm a big family person. My daughters are in Tennessee, but here it's dad, mom. We're always doing family stuff, so I missed it. I missed my church, so I came home. My son got killed in 2016. And being back here, it's kind of like being closer to him because I can remember all the things we did, all the places we went. And it's like having a part of him with me when I'm back here. What happened? He got shot on a bus stop. Yeah. Randomly? Yes. He was out on the bus stop. They were getting ready to go wherever they were going. And somebody just came up shooting. And unfortunately, he didn't make it. I 
I believe God has a plan in everything that we do. And unfortunately, um, taking my son was part of that plan, I believe. So I just trust, I don't know what the plan is, I just trust God. I get up, I pray, and I ask for direction. Um, my thing is, I just want to be of service. I just want to help and make, I try to be the person I want to see in people. So, yeah, it takes a lot of fasting and praying. <laughs> by the Coin Laundry Association, which is a group we belong to. It's a little bit about... I'm sorry. Welcome to your new job as a customer service attendant. Working in a laundry is a pleasant experience. What is a self-service laundry? It all means the same thing, getting dirty clothes clean. The following personal qualifications are necessary for you to do your job well. A positive, upbeat attitude, honest work ethic, good personal hygiene, friendliness, and willingness to help customers. Use your friendly personality to greet and assist customers. It is amazing what a smile and friendly hello can do to encourage people to visit us week after week. What seems to be the problem? I put my money in the machine and it's not working. Well, let's take a look. Ah, looks like the sleeve got caught between the door and the machine. <laughs> Can I help you with anything else? Can I help you? Oh, okay, thank you. Okay, great. Ay, no es flojera, es cansancio. Es que la verdad que yo sí me siento recansada. Voy a chequear cuánto tengo de vacaciones. Yo voy a agarrar así tres semanas. Nunca me he agarrado eso. No. ¿A dónde salgo? No. A México no. Tres semanas en México no. no. Ay, a mí sí, hasta un mes me aguanto dos. Ay, que usted porque tiene su galán, pero yo allá Pero antes puro también, pagadera. aquí no estaba, Ay, no. y acuérdense, no, todos es me que... quedaban. Es que allá es puro pagadera, estar sí. manteniendo tantos. <risa> no, no, no. Ahorita esta semana ya nos van a mandar decir para ver a la niña. Pero no pues si ni quiere ir allá. Este. No, pues sí quiero, sí quiero irla a ver a ella. Okay. Anything else? Yes. Okay. Oh, she's got a list, I didn't see. Yeah, I have a list. <laughs> when I take vacation, why you always like, you know, 
no like different people when they ask for vacation always they ask me where I'm going or they give me a little bit hard time to take my vacation. I don't know. Who's giving you a hard time? <laughs> I, Is I, Mark? I'm feeling I'm feeling like that because sometimes I do you know in the internet in the page. Uh-huh. And I never in general you don't get a real response. Mm-hmm. And I wait, you know, no only I don't need fast fast. But, but I start like checking that, and sure, you, you know because sometimes I have plans. Yeah. Like right now in my niece in Mexico, the right. little girl. I'm talking about the little girl. Yeah. And uh, maybe I don't know. Maybe this month or next month I need to go to see Good. to her. Cuando vi a mis hijos crecer. Mis planes era ir, irme a México, a retirarme allá, a estar más tiempo con mi familia. Pero también la vida cambió mis planes. Cuando El esposo de mi sobrina la asesinó. Cambiaron mucho los planes porque ella era muy cercana a mí. Ha sido muy, muy duro para mí cuando yo voy a México. Yo sé que ella no está ahí. Llegué a México, fui a la procuraduría y les pedí que me dejaran ver el cuerpo, uno que estaba cerca de donde ella vivía. Me dieron la autorización de verlo. Me llevaron a la, a la morgue. Y antes de enseñarnos el cuerpo, nos enseñaron muchas fotos. Donde yo y mi hermana reconocimos a ella por sus dientes. Cuando a él lo detienen, que él fue el culpable, agarran a la niña la, el departamento de niños. Uh, la familia se la dieron a, a la mamá de, de él. Pero yo no, mi plan era tener a ella para mí. Está mi mamá con Jenny aquí. ¿Puedo pedirle algo? Pues sí. ¿Sí? Mira, qué bonita, mami. Mira, qué bonita, mami. 
Te quiero mucho, mi amor. Te amo. Le digo, yo no, no les voy a mentir, yo les agradezco, como dice mi hermano, infinito que nos hayan permitido este momento. Yo lo deseaba con todo el corazón, en serio. Ahorita, ahorita la niña pues, nos une, ¿no? La verdad, no somos quien para juzgar, no somos quien para, para señalar o algo, pero quiero que, que, este, que eso es lo que estamos ahorita dando un gran paso. Y les agradecemos infinitamente uh -huh. que también ustedes nos hayan permitido acercarnos ah. a la niña. Porque teníamos ese temor, ¿no? Sí. Esto, Esto tan... La parte de la niña no tiene la culpa. Que si ellos un día quieren que dármela, yo la voy a aceptar con las manos abiertas. Yo sé que usted es su tutora y todo eso, yo respeto, pero si un día usted necesita algo, con gusto, en serio. Está igual, pero está igual. Es verdad, qué bonito. Está bien diferente. Sí, pero me refiero que no ha cambiado de su cara. No, no se ve triste. Se ve bien. Ya, gracias a Dios que ya la vemos. Pues sí. Porque está bien la niña, pero se ve bien vestida. Se ve bien. ¿Y si te reconoció? A mí no tanto. Allá no. Mí... ¿Sí? ¿Por qué tiene ya más contacto? Uh -huh. Pero yo les dije quién yo era. Mira, ya ellos les decían que yo era su madrina, ¿verdad? Le estaban ¿Quién? diciendo su tía y oh, la sí. señora. Oye, no, es tu madrina. Porque yo les dije que yo era su madrina. Sí, pues eres su madrina. En realidad nosotros ya no podemos cambiar lo que ya pasó. No, ya no se puede. Y vivir con un rencor. ¿Tú sabes para qué? Yo me refiero a que ellos como que lo justifican a él. No, no lo justificaron, no, no, decir, no lo justificaron. No, decir, no. Que, que sí, ellos saben que sí, el daño que él hizo, sí, ¿verdad? Porque ya no sí, Y con nosotros no se iba a ir. Que eso sí iba a ser no con nosotros. Porque de este lado nunca fui, nunca hicieron nada. Pablo, no, ok, yo le dije a ella, ¿verdad? Que yo traté y que dijo sí, que de sí, todos ella. modos yo no le iba a agarrar. No, yo no, no, sé. no porque no más eran a los abuelos, ¿no? Ella, ella, ella nombró quiénes la iban a... Y Ajá. nosotros no quedamos, no, ninguno de no, nosotros no, no, en, no. en ese papel. Chicago's very own WGN Evening News at 6. Early on the morning of March 29th, 13-year-old Adam Toledo and 21-year-old Ruben Ramon were walking on South Sawyer Avenue in Little Village. The incident happened near the corner of South Sawyer Avenue and West 24th Street in Little Village. It was captured on three different cameras. Police say Toledo had a gun in his hand, which is seen on this frame of video. At an opening in a wooden fence along the alley, Toledo turns and appears to drop the gun as he's raising his hands. According to video timestamps, only a fraction of a second, exactly 842 milliseconds, elapsed from the time that the officer saw the gun in Toledo's hand to the moment the officer fired the fatal shot. The officer says, stop, stop, hands. Show me your expletive hands. Weiser T is telling us she doesn't know if Adam had a gun in his possession. That's right by the school. Six. It could be a gun. We're in, in the know. parking lot. That's where the school is. When they freeze it, is that when he shoots them? Yeah. So they don't show the rest. Oh, he did throw the gun on the ground, though. Huh? I'm thinking he put his hand behind the fence. That's what they just showed. They, they finally zoomed in on it. Hey, oh, we're on break. I could look it up. What? The video. Porque él estar en gangas. Y él estar a esa hora, uno debe de saber. 
protesters have also been raised by the man who to later was alleged to be. Some people expected that it would be clear that Adam had a gun in his hand that he had used it or was planning to use it. That is not clear from the and just the way it happened, bro, it's messed up. <laughs> like, he told him to put his hands up. As soon as he did that, he shot him. I mean, like I said, I mean, he was back there. He dropped it, put it back there, dropped it. But if he was right there, like, right on the edge of the fence. Pobres policías, la verdad, que ahorita está mal. Mm-hmm. Mal, mal, mal. Porque si hubiera sido un ganguero, ¿usted cree que le hubieran hecho lo mismo? Las noticias que un ganguero hubiera matado al chamaco. Ah, pues no. No hubieran hecho nada. Es que porque fue un policía. ¿Y qué policía es? Un hispano, creo, ¿no? No, es hispano. Es hispano, ¿verdad? Que sí, el poli- creo, ¿no? Es hispano. Pues es que el Little Billy, ¿qué hay? Pues hispano, policía. Un hispano. Es que se pasan, la verdad que... Yo lo veo por mi hija. Mi hija es mi más sueño americano porque uh, ella está graduada de colegio. Ella, uh, yo ver a ella bien, ahí se hizo mi sueño americano porque Yo no tuve esas posibilidades que ella tuvo esa oportunidad de si yo hubiera crecido aquí, a lo mejor sí, sí hubiera tenido un mejor futuro, un mejor trabajo, pero no, no fue así. All right, Roy, you have big news to tell me, right? Yeah, so I remember giving you all my um letters of acceptance for the colleges and yes. I've come to the conclusion that I believe that Loyola is my best fit. Okay. Oh, nice. They have a great reputation. So what does that mean? You'll be, will you go live on campus? Will you be, con- yeah, where, where is their school? As a family, we were um, discussing that it's probably better for me to commute and okay. I kind of enjoy driving on the expressway. And sure. I think it saves us a lot more money so that that scholarship money that they had given me goes yeah. more to education rather than living expenses. Yeah, so the, the way it worked is um, the Loyola University's tuition ranges between 60000 and sixty five For a year? A year, a yeah. A year, isn't that so amazing? It, it is. Oh. So, it, it's a, it's, <laughs> Take a it's deep a, breath. Yeah, gargantuan uh, figure. Roy, basically, with the scholarships, covers 80% of, yeah. So. Well, you, you know, I can certainly put 2500 at this point the, for your first semester, if that's what you need. I mean, that's what I've, I budgeted you, that's what you Mr. Benson, at this juncture, I would say, um, you know, it, it, it's in your heart. Uh, I, you know, we, we've been uh, super thankful, not only for Roy, but everyone sure. that's part of that. And, and we use the Best of Berwyn program, you know, as a screening device. Yes. You're obviously a high caliber person somebody who education we want to support. Just Loyola University? I would say Loyola University. uh, Chicago. like to welcome you once again to our 2021 Best of Berwyn Ceremony. Once again, we would like to congratulate every student who is qualified to be part of tonight's program. No matter what happens tonight, you are all winners. 
Thank you to Mayor Levero and the City of Berwyn for your continued support in this program and helping tonight be a success. Thank you to Chief Samaglia and the Berwyn Police Department for always keeping our city safe. Thank you to all the elected officials and dignitaries here tonight that continue to make the City of Berwyn a great place to be. When you're driving in Berwyn and come to the intersection of Surmac and Highland, you'll see a huge building with a big sign that says, World's Largest Laundromat. Inside of this laundromat is a man. This man is Tom Benson. What it will read on Tom's trophy is, quote, when you dream big, believe in your talents, and strive to achieve the highest goals and aspirations, anything is possible. This award tonight is our way of simply saying, thank you, Tom. wanted to embrace the community through the laundromat and in hopes that the community would embrace me. Uh, to say the least, the second half has certainly been true and I hope we've done our part for the first half. And I think that's the way any business ought to justify its existence. And now it is my honor to present the Best of Berlin finalists. Hector Galindo. Monsena Lopez Hernandez. Parker Stewart Woolery. Hello? Hey, Rad, how are you? Well, you know, Renata, reality is this isn't working too well for us either. You know, I don't know if you want to come in and talk, you're welcome to do that. Uh, but you have to understand, two out of five days and no calls, you know, it it's, puts us in a bad position. What, what are your plans? You were supposed to be working today. Okay. All right, well, when you... All right, well, drop your shirt off if you took it home with you. And good luck to you. Okay, bye-bye. ¿Qué le he regalado al país? Ay, pues toda mi vida, mis años. <risa> sí, ¿no? ¿O qué más puedo regalar? Aquí voy a dejar mi vida aquí, trabajando duro. ¿Sueño americano? Ay, eso sí no lo puedo definir. No sé. Nunca lo alcancé ni lo voy a alcanzar porque no tengo nada. A estas alturas, teniendo tantos años aquí en Estados Unidos, no tengo nada. O sea, ya a esta edad que yo tengo, ya no voy a alcanzar más. O sea, no puedo decir que fue un sueño americano. 
porque no tengo nada. Mucha gente tiene sus casas, sus carros, yo no tengo nada. A tanto año que tengo viviendo aquí no tengo nada. So, no puedo decir del sueño americano. Okay. 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 Okay.